Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. I've come down to see Guy. Guy is a keen skill builder watcher. He's done quite a lot of work on his house and he's involved in what I think is quite an interesting project here, yeah? What are you up to here? The uh, slate roof had reached end of life, all the felt underneath had uh, perished and the slate itself was starting to fragment. So it was time to get a replacement roof. And when we looked at the costing of replacement slates and also putting uh, solar into the middle of the roof in an inlay system, it was cheaper to do the solar as well as the slates around the outside. You're not only stopping at slating, you've done, you've got some superfoil insulation Correct. in there. Now why did you go for superfoil? Because the building regs now insist that you've got to get to a certain U value. The problem we have with a cottage that's over 200 years old is all the rafters are all over the place There's no fixed uh, fixed capability to put in the normal insulation that you would normally put between the rafters. So we looked at uh, solutions for that and using superfoil SF40BB on top of the roof and another type of superfoil underneath the rafters will actually give you the U value that will meet the building regs. Underneath? Yes. Is that, does that mean there's an air gap? The rafter air gap. Okay. It's the air gap and then you put a, a superfoil under, underneath and that will meet the um, the building regs or just about meet the building regs. Is that sealed? That I mean I'm thinking about vapour here. Well, How does that work? Well vapour is a, a major concern of mine Thank, once again thanks to you. So what we're actually putting in is we're putting in three vents Oh, okay. in, in the roof okay yeah. and we're going to have fans that will have a moisture sensor and when the, if the moisture hits it we're going to automatically turn the fans on wow. and vent out so that's the plan I mean, and the thing is once you know when you've got the the roof is up there now's the time to put a put you know put a fan uh, put a vent in rather than trying to come back and do it yeah. at a later date yeah i noticed that they've counterbattened it and they've gone up and over so they can get the air going straight over the top and Correct. down as well which is going to help yeah. We're using a Mayan slate system, which is a reinforced solution, which also has a ventilated ridge tile as well. Part of the kit? Part of the kit, yes. And also some very interesting verge details as well. Oh, yes. We're trying to make the, the cottage look right. It's very, very difficult to get stuff that looks really nice in a 200-year-old in a cottage. So we've got the Mayan ridge tiles and also the edging tiles, which will give us a slate edge finish um, to the edge of the roof. The slates come from Devon. You can walk on them. They will even do roofs down to 7.5 degrees, which, which is, is one of the biggest problems we've had in this yeah. house. Low pitch, because you've got low pitch Correct. there, haven't you? The, the, so so what have you actually got on there at the They moment? at the moment at a time are the Redland Cumbrian slates. I know, okay? yeah. And yeah. they just crack and break. Oh, really? Yeah, whereas the Mayan solution, you can actually walk on them. A real man can walk on them without fear of breaking them. It's kind of a laminate system. It's got a GRP Correct. underneath it, and then the slate, the natural slate is on top. Correct. Isn't so it? it looks like real slate. It is real slate, but underneath there's a, a GRP solution to it. So it's kind of a secondary barrier, really, isn't Correct. it? So that yeah. interlocks. So you don't have to worry so much about the headlap. You use less is tiles. Less and yeah. uh, therefore it's very, very economic. I mean, each tile looks expensive as an individual, but you're using less of them on the roof and therefore yeah, it works out co very cost effective. Does it? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was thinking it might be a, an expensive option. No, but this, was the, this was the cheapest way to roof it. Also, you're putting on solar panels. The solar panels now are so cheap. Mm -hmm. the, the, the solar panels going on the roof are, only cost me £75 each now. Oh, it's 510 watts. Wow. It's, a, it's an absolute no-brainer. Yeah. So the, this is a south-facing roof. There's nine going on the south-facing roof. There's also nine going on the north-facing roof. People wonder why you could do that. You'll get 60% of the power of a south-facing roof on the north side. So it's just as cheap ah, now. We just okay. While we're there up there and roofing it, we just do the lot. And you that get will give 60%? 60%. Because the solar panels are so cheap, it, it's a no-brainer. If, if I don't get as much power as I would have done on the south face, do I care? And you, you're putting inverters in every one of them? Correct. Micro-inverters in on every single one. We did that on a, a previous job and had them under the panel and people were saying, oh, it's a nightmare because if anything goes wrong with the inverter, you've got to take the panel off, but you're going to put yours inside the loft to overcome that. Correct. They're doing a, an extension cable from Enphase. Every single micro-inverter will be mounted inside the loft. If I have a problem with, the, uh, with an, an inverter, I'll just go there, unplug it. unplug it and change it. Not a problem. The great thing about those micro-inverters, you're not over... You, you haven't got any shadowing here, have you? You're, you're pretty much full on all the way around. But if you do have that, if you've got some in the shade, the micro inverters are a much better option, yeah. isn't it? And they also come on earlier in the morning and stay on till later at night. Do they? Okay, yes, they're better at, at the low light and, and the um, on both ends of the dawn and dusk. They might not give you as much power during the peak of the day, but I have so much power here anyway. I don't yeah. need it in the peak yeah. of the day. I yeah. need it early morning and later, yeah. late at night. And of course at winter. In the winter time as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
All right, look, I'm going to go and talk to the guys and see what they're up to, and uh, maybe um, you can show me a few of the details, yeah? No problems, thank you. Oh no, there's another one on that end. Sorry, Matthew. I create peace in that. Put it right up the other way. Doing the old draw strings. When the uh, guy The first time you've ever used these slates, yeah? Yeah, it, well, it's a new system that's come to market. It's a natural, natural slate on top with GRP backing to be twice supportive and make them strong, but they actually go in like a tile, not a slate. Are you a fan of it? Would you use them again or not? I would use them again. I am a fan. The only thing is, because you've got to cut through the slate and the GRP, they spec you've got to use an angle grinder. Whereas on natural slate, there'll be a guillotine or seven different ways where you take the end off so you don't expose the layers. But they have expect that that don't matter because the GRP underneath. But apart from that, Yes, I think they're great. So you didn't do the solar panels, somebody else did all that? No, they come in, screwed them, screwed them onto the battens, and we've just come around, tidy them up, counterbattened for the airflow. I think you should counterbatten slates, but people will argue that. No, I think but, you yeah, should, absolutely. My, I mean, my preferred method. Especially uh, fibre cement ones, yeah, because they yeah. sweat like mad underneath, and then you get all that blooming on them, don't you? All the white efflorescence. So, as I say, it's one of those things that's done on the continent all the time and you never see British roofers do it, do you? But I yeah, think, it I think it's coming in a lot more now, but yeah. I'd definitely count about it. Yeah. But I know I'd definitely be using these real slate verges again. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, way better than the plastic. I mean, I'm a massive muck fan. I don't think you can beat traditional, but I think this does, believe it or not, because it's quicker to install and I, I just like the look. Would you would you put an undercloak and bed it up, Sent, or not? Yeah, you would. You would undercloak <coughs> it, and what we'd do is we'd we'd squeeze chicken wire in there, ah. so the slates don't rattle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'd normally do. Oh right. But that's fine. But if you look at the low level with the old plastic verges, you can see the difference in. Our client obviously wants that sorted out. Oh, you've got to do all that, have you? Yeah, later date. But they've got the plastic verges. Yeah, yeah. And I can't remember the name of them slates, but they're Cambrian. The, there you go. The Redland Cambrian, I think. But it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. Looks stonking, mate. Really good. The only weird thing is, is obviously these are spec to have two screws in each, so we're actually screwing them down. Yeah, yeah. Rather than nailing them, I bet you would yeah. have people who nailed them. But it no, keeps them there, though, doesn't it? You don't get any of that. I mean, yeah, no. Well, right, even even round there, look, it up. is it is solid, and that's mm -hmm. that's obviously under the solars. Yeah. So that's yet to be stuck down. So what you could put double-sided tape on the back of that, and then just. Yeah, it cut, it we're down. using the stuff that comes with the solar to go up the side, so we'll stick oh, that okay. underneath, double-sided. These barge balls in, they're, they're a bit rustic, aren't they? Yeah, so we've gone solid oak. It's quite unusual, coated in Osmo, two coats, so it won't go silver, because before, they, it was actually just a bit of skirting board up here. Yeah, so we took that off, and where the stone comes out, so we've packed it out, so it goes over the brickwork, keeps it flat, pr more premium spec, and it with the area and the yeah. lovely, amazing house the client's got. This building's a bit up and down all over the place, isn't it, when you were... It's an old cottage, basically, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing straight on it. Slate, I mean, if it was clay tile, standard sort of handmade clay tiles, you could go up and down with them quite a lot, can't you? But when it's slate, you've got to get it... Yeah. To it's, get it's, it to sit right, it's quite tricky, isn't it? Especially with these, because the way they lock in, and it's not a traditional slate as well, so you can't, like chamfer them in so yeah we've had to be very clever how we start that out start that off at the bottom and we took more time packing this so we know we had a straighter edge you can find out more about superfoil and mayan roofing systems armored slate through the links below and if you've used either of them we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments